Hey guys, my name is Abhay and I'm Ayush. And in this presentation, we'll talk about split ring resonators, which are the basic unit of a meta material. So, what exactly are meta materials? Let's talk about them. Meta material is any material which is engineered to exhibit properties which are not found in nature. So, meta materials can be used to manipulate uh, light, sound or any other properties like the mechanical properties. So in most of the cases we see that the specific shape and the geometry that is given to these uh, materials is what gives them the desired properties. Now let's come to split ring resonators or SRRs. SRRs are the basic unit of metamaterials related to EM waves. Structurally speaking, a split ring resonator is a pair of concentric loops etched in a dielectric substrate which splits in them at opposite ends. Now let's see how they look when they are manufactured. The shape of these loops can be circular, square or even U-shaped. These loops are made of non-magnetic materials like copper with a gap in between them. Usually, the circular one is the most used one. So now let's see how this SRR actually works. Here we have the split ring resonator. When a time changing magnetic field penetrates through the metallic rings, it induces an EMF because of the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction which we all know and this in turn produces a rotating current. Now, because of the current, the ring produces its own magnetic field which may enhance or oppose the incident field. Now, what exactly happens depends on the resonant frequency of this ring which we will discuss a little later. So, we can say that there is some inductive effect which is associated with the ring. We just saw the inductive effect of an SRR. But in reality, a capacitive effect is also present in it. This part comes because of the split in the ring which effectively behaves as a parallel plate capacitor. Hence, it can be represented as a uh, equivalent LC circuit as given below. The values of capacitance and in inductance depends on the diameter of the rings, width of the rings, width of the split, material used and other such parameters. The equivalent circuit that we just saw has a natural frequency associated with it which is given by 1 upon square root L into C. Now when a frequency of the incident field comes in the vicinity of the resonant or natural frequency huge amount of current flows which results in a high, opposing, high opposing field which in turn results in a low effective field. So now let's look at the graph of transmission of an electromagnetic wave at different frequencies. This is the experimental setup in which this is the SRR, this is the transmitter and this is the receiver. The graph that was obtained was of this kind. So at frequencies around 3.6 GHz, there was a sharp dip in the value of transmission which shows resonance in the equivalent LC circuit and hence a huge opposing field and an effective negative field. The red line here shows the graph for the CRR or closed ring resonator which has resonant frequencies far away from this frequency range. A large number of such split ring resonators are arranged in a periodic array in an orderly fashion such that the EM waves interact with them as a homogeneous media. Also, the system has an effective natural frequency which can be tuned by changing the arrangement of these rings. Thus, we can have a medium having an effective negative permeability for an adjustable range of frequencies. After doing some mathematical analysis of the array that we just saw, the graph of permeability for uh, as a frequency function is plotted here. Here we can see that in frequency ranges around 4, 4 GHz, the permeability values were negative. So the fact that it shows negative values of permeability makes it a metamaterial. 
Now let's have a look at the uses of split ring resonators in various fields. As transmittance value greatly decreases near natural frequency, such structures can be used as a stop band filter which forbids transmission of frequencies around the natural frequency. Also, if we arrange these parallel arrays of split ring oscillators, they can be used to confine electromagnetic waves for frequencies near the resonant frequency due to the impermeable nature of the air. We can also use them to sense organic materials. Now, basically in this, the dielectric medium of the SRR is changed due to which the, the frequency diagram is shifted and we can get an idea of the dielectric constant of the organic material. Thank you guys for watching the video. We hope you liked it. If you have any comments or any query regarding the content of the video, do post it. Also, all the links regarding the contents have been given in the description below. Thank you again.